second round is about to begin. Hey, we yeah. should move that ball where it's at. We're going to start with a bump in the middle. No. And every round begins with a bump from the referee. And off we go. I can going from left to right. Good positioning that time and what looked like a coordinated attack. But I'll tell you what, Christian Velasquez as a blocker, number 21 in blue, has played very well. Yep, turn over there and a little bit of ball handling mistake. Darren Charles tried to save it. And that's a turnover. But it'll belong to ICANN and in pretty Florida good position. Ball. And you can score from back there if you want. There's an attempt at a grunt and it's and good. That's a grunt. That's a grunt. And that is a one point grunt. By Florida. It almost yes. clipped the top of the grunt net. But instead, remember, that's the thing about Hannibal 360. It truly means now, 360 degrees in that circle. And the grunt meter has got to have Take his head almost have the eyes in the back of the head, as the old expression goes. Hello. So we're knotted up. Palm Beach had the first two runs, and now ICANN has come back to even things up. A lot of players around there. Again, the rule is because once you drop the ball, you can't pick it back up. And that led to a little bit of an awkward exchange rule, that time. If you drop the ball, you can't pick it up. So, so it belonged it to, to Palm Beach. To Palm Beach. Palm Beach to advance it back up the court. Uh, Juarez throws it, it away. Collision there. Let's see who this call goes against. And it will go in favor of Palm Beach. They're going to say the foul was against the ICANN. That was uh, Kenny Adam, number 01. Back to the Grund meter. By the way, if on any odd chance he dropped that, that would have been a Grund point for ICANN. Breakout here. ICANN. Goal. Grund. Perfect. Boy, a turnover turns into an immediate Grund for Florida ICANN. And now they take the lead for the first time. Sloppy pass. And you pay for it. Out of bounds. Charles unable to hang on to it. Just a turnover there, and Palm Beach will try to get it going. They had it going early, but the last three runs have been scored by the ICANN. Francois from behind has tied it up. His second run of the match. And again, now we're starting to see players go to the other side, closer to the wall. And that is difficult. Oh, that would have been three had that gone in. The attempt at the grunt was almost a three-pointer. Each team with three single grunts so far. And we would have had a rim grunt there. The bump intercepted. Francois tried to get a little fancy with that pass. Trying to get it over to Pierre. Let's take a look at this last one. That is cl as close as you can get to a rim grunt without it actually happening. Hits the top. That would have been three had it gone in. And if the official had agreed with it, of course. Another turnover by Florida. They're having a little hard time handling the ball now. And as soon as they say that, Palm Beach turns it over. Nearly an interception by Velasquez, but he left his blocker position and left some vulnerability there. But a nice effort by Charles to come back to take his spot. So we're going to get our first fill-on of the night. It can be defended. And he missed... The fill on. That's not good, so they Take a look at it again. This would have been two if he gets it. 
and he just completely overshot it. So we are tied at three. A little over eight minutes remaining in this 13 minutes. Second round of four here at Davie Nova Southeastern University. Rick K. Serena. Beautiful, beautiful facility for Nova Southeastern University. This is top notch. And a timeout has been called by Palm Beach. That'll stop the clock. With 7.47. Each team gets four timeouts. And in this 52-minute game, four 13-minute rounds, of course, we'll have a 15-minute halftime. The three-handed ball, 360 arena is 157.2 by 70. And the handed ball, not particularly heavy and not particularly large, eight inches in diameter, 13 and a half ounces. The Grund net is four feet tall and 12 feet in diameter. And you see how difficult it can be for the Grund meters to defend that area with coming from everywhere in the 360 degree world of handball. All the bounce passes you see are called bumps and every pass has to be a bump. If you violate that rule, you lose possession of the ball at the spot of the foul. You can take four steps if you'd like, but you can't hold the ball for more than five seconds and you cannot enter the opposing team's circle halt. And the circle halt is the pink circle you can enter the green area. In other words, that area between the green and the pink you're about to take a look at right here. That's okay for an offensive player or a, an advancer to go into, but you cannot go past or even on that pink line. So after the timeout, Florida gets the ball back. And we've had a fill line, which is you might consider a free throw if you're a basketball fan, and uh, the fill on, I should say, and it was unsuccessful for Florida. And that would have been two points, possibly even as many as five, if it had clipped the top of the grund net for a rim flunk. And that's no good. It belonged to the yellow of Florida. But Francois has certainly been a factor. He has two grunds already for Avar. And now an interception and a chance to break out. Shot is blocked. One more time. And a Grund! It went right back to Juarez. He got the rebound and Grunded. And it's a one-pointer. Paul Beach regains the lead. Well, he really wound up on that. And a nice save going the other way by Portillo. The whistles everywhere. Foul called. So Portillo came, come up, came up big. And we're getting a new handed ball brought into play, and it'll be given to Ican. And again, back to the Grun meter. And there is a risk with that play. Interception. Uh, looked like he might have been trying. Well, it wouldn't have been a Bulak because it was a bounce pass, but the bounce pass was a little bit too energetic for Francois, so it's turned over and it goes back to Icahn. What I was about to say is there is a risk with giving it back to the Grunt meter. If he drops it, it's a point against that team. Call, that is called a freep. We have not seen anything close to that yet. Shot blocked from behind. Beautifully done that time. Excellent block. As Icahn is starting to get a little more aggressive on the defensive end. And that is a violation against Florida. Against Lormont. Back the other way comes Florida. Again, four steps allowed before you have to get rid of the ball or five seconds, and every pass has to be a bump or a bounce pass. But the proper terminology in Hannett Ball 360 is a bump. That time you can see the clock was running on Pierre, but he was able to get that pass off and a little bit of a push in the back. 
And I would imagine this ball is going to go to Palm Beach. Let's see. It is. And we'll get a fill on here from Pierre. This is worth two if he can get it in, or rim fill on for five, and it's rejected. And again, you see the advantage that the run, the fill on shooter has is he can go anywhere around that green circle, but that time the goalkeeper, Alexi Funia, has stayed right with him and rejected the fill on. So we've had two efforts at fill ons, and both have failed so far. I guess that's failed spelled with a PH. Turnover. Good bump that time. Shot saved. And Portillo comes up with his second big save of this round with about three and a half minutes remaining. Oh, buddy might go ahead and take the effort from there. Portillo makes another save on a red hot grunt effort. And now a steal. And we have a player shaken up on the play, right. Francois, unintentionally, kind of need Lobo in around that thigh or hip area. But hey, we have a hot grunt meter all of a sudden, Portillo. That one drove me back on his heels. It didn't look like a lot of contact, but that's easy for me to say and happy to see that Selvin Lobo looks like he's going to be all right. So this is the Falon. You see Pierre is going to go ahead. He's going to sky, but the angle was cut down that time beautifully by Funes. He was very aggressive that time. And back into play after a brief timeout for injury. Oh, that's an interesting strategy, and you know what? That might have worked, except the pass was a little hot to handle. Granados was in a dangerous position, forcing the goalkeeper to spin around. That is the 360 concept of handball 360. And a little great reach in there, and it's going to be a foul against Paul Beach, but I don't think it's going to be serious enough to award a fill on, and it's not. There's the bump. That grunt lost a little bit of steam and made an easier save for Portillo. And let's see what the call is here. All right, it's going to be a fill-on awarded to Lorman. No, sir. Looked like that was too low. I don't know if Portillo got that or if it actually hit into the grunt net in front. Either way, we've now had three fill-ons, and so far nobody's been able to take advantage of the two-point shot. Here's an opportunity, too hot. The effort by Witchell Lewis, not sure if he was trying to shoot for the grunt or maybe go across court to a teammate for a pass as we're under 40 seconds right now. And a steal. And a steal back. And another steal, but there is a reach in. And it should be against Palm Beach. So the clock continues to run, even with whistles. So the clock running out. And, no, they're going to award that to Florida. They go all the way back to the grunt meter. And well, it looks like they're going to hold the ball for the last attempt at a grunt. Waning seconds left. There's the shots rejected. And now can't do that. That's almost uh, a double pump. Got to do something when you go up in the air. You can't bring it back down. And that will run out the clock and be the end of our first half. Paul Beach took a two grunt to none lead. Florida tied it up, actually took a 3-2 lead, and then Palm Beach came back with two more runs, and we have reached halftime. Got a lot for you coming up at halftime, including we'll hear from some of the players who are participating in this Hennet Ball 360 match. Two rounds down, Palm Beach with a one grund advantage.
But it's so up since right now, it's, it's through the pool, so it's not bad.